Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K YouTube Live. And today I'm going to show you how I made a quick birthday card with the um, Magnolia Mood stamp set, which is one of the, it's a bundle actually, one of the new ones that is coming in the next round of um, online exclusives from Stampin' Up. So this is actually available for demonstrators to pre-order right now. And uh, it'll be available for customers to order beginning on March 5th. So it's a really great, um, a beautiful bundle. I think the images are so pretty in this one. And I hope that you all love it too. So hey, Sally and Karen, thanks for joining. And Pam and Dancine, I see everybody's here hopping in now. Um, so I do apologize. I'm definitely not completely over whatever this yuck is that I got. But um, I'm definitely feeling much better. And I'm hoping that I don't end up coughing my head off during the middle of this. So um, hey, I see William and uh, Lynn are here as well. So it, it is a really pretty, really, really pretty um, magnolia image. Like I said, it's, I think it's beautiful. So that's my opinion. So um, yeah, I'm definitely glad to be feeling better. Glad to be back in the land of the living again over the weekend. It was, yeah, I didn't feel good at all, <laughs> but definitely feeling much better today. So, all right. So this is the stamp set. It is really pretty. If you watched my little um, preview of the or unboxing video that I did last week, Friday, you would have seen this already, but this is it. It's called Magnolia Mood, and it is a cling mount stamp set. Um, got some really pretty sentiments in it. And like I said, the images are just beautiful. It's one, you know, I, I really, really like it. Um, the images are a little smaller on the case than they are actually the stamped images, and you'll see that when we um, start playing with it in just a minute. Um, but there's also a set of coordinating dies called Magnolia Mood, and it is bundled together. And again, these will be available starting on uh, the 5th of March, uh, available for customers to order, and uh, they're available now for demonstrators to pre-order. So, all right. Um, thanks, everybody, for hopping in. Glad that you all are here. So the die set actually has some really pretty, obviously, it's got the open dies that will cut out your stamped images. But then there are these accessory dies. And this one and this one I actually used in my card today. And I'll show you a little closer look at those and what they look like when they're cut out. Um, but there's another larger flower, kind of a greenery piece, and then some leaves. Oh, and there's also an, an additional leaf here. So um, it's a great die set, great uh, bundle. It's really pretty. So all right, um, so that's it for that. Let me set that over here. A um, couple other things that I used on this card. I did use the Stylish Shapes dies. These are kind of my go-to dies for uh, you know anything that I need an image cut out on the front for. Um, and I actually used this die to cut out my sentiment. So it's just, that's all I use that die set for. And then hopefully you can see it on here, but there's a little embossed piece of vellum on the back of here. Hey, Drew, thanks for hopping in. Um, little embossed piece of vellum on the back of here, and I embossed it with the softly sophisticated uh, embossing folder. This is actually a bundle from the Celebration brochure. It's in a bundle, I should say, from the Celebration brochure. It's bundled with a different stamp set. I didn't use the stamp set, um, but it's, a, it's an awesome embossing folder. And it's available for free uh, with an order of $100 or greater. It's one of the options for celebration, which and runs through the end of February. So February 29th is the last day you'll be able to get this embossing folder and that stamp set bundled together for free. Um, so, hey, Mary, thanks for joining. Yeah, the zinnias and the magnolias, all the flowers are all so pretty. So, yes, it's a great, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty excited about these upcoming um, online exclusive. So a uh, couple other things before we get going. Uh, celebration, as I mentioned, is going on. So make sure that you're getting your orders put in before the end of uh, March, March <laughs> end of February. So February 29th, this brochure runs through then. Um, there are quite a few things. Plus there have been some new things that have been added. There are items out of the annual catalog that you can also earn for free instead of just the products in here. So when you, as you're going through the checkout process with an order of 50 or greater, you'll see the options to um, that you'll be able to pick from for free uh, from Stampin' Up! if you place an order during celebration. And then don't forget there's the awesome joining promotion uh, where you get this uh, beautiful glass mat. One of the options, I should say, for joining is you get this beautiful glass mat. Um, with your starter kit. So the starter kit is $99. It uh, ships for free, pay tax on the $99. You get to pick $125 worth of Stampin' Up! merchandise. And this glass mat will come with it for free. Or, so there's a second option during celebration, you can pay $99 plus tax, kit ships for free, and you get to pick $155 worth of Stampin' Up! merchandise. So you get your choice. You can either pick the glass mat, which is awesome and beautiful and great to stamp on, um, or you, if you don't have a use for the glass mat, don't want it, whatever, you can always just um, 
get the additional product, which is always a great deal. So, um, all right, so you have a tree with yellowish orange magnolias. Really, I guess I didn't realize they came in different colors. I thought they were always kind of white with a little color in them, but interesting. I guess I've never seen one. I'll have to go look in and see what different colors magnolias all come in. So, um, hey, Patricia, thanks for hopping in. And Linda, um, the coffee bundle. Yep, it's, it's pretty awesome. So, all right. <clears throat> And then speaking of the products I'm using today, online exclusives, um, these are, this is some of the new product that's coming. It's definitely not all of it. Again, I showed you, I think everything I ordered in the uh, unboxing video that I did last week, Friday. So go take a peek at that if you want to see some more of the online exclusives. Um, there are online exclus exclusives that are currently available now in the online store. So you go out there. <clears throat> Um, click on the little menu button on the upper left and then go down to online exclusives and you'll see a whole bunch of different things. And then there'll be some new options starting on the 5th of March. So these are some of the new options uh, that are coming in. Lots of good things. All right. And then one last thing um, is right now, if you place an order with me uh, before, well, by the 14th or by Valentine's Day, I've got a little ordering bonus where if you order $50 or greater, you get to pick a free adhesive um, in addition to your $10 thank you gift with your order with me. So details are on my blog, which is stampwithamyk.com. And uh, let me know what you have for questions on any of that. And uh, yeah, get your order put in and get yourself a free adhesive, a thank you gift and a gift from Stampin' Up. So there you go. All right. Um, oh, thanks, Mary. I appreciate that. So hey, Judy, thanks for hopping in. Okay. Let's get started. Let me get a drink before I get started. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't want to have to stop 10 times to do that while, we're, um, while I'm putting this card together. But if I do, I apologize. I'm trying to get over this crud. So, okay. Um, this is a pool party card base and it is cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter in the middle. So it's just your standard issue card base. And then I've got a piece of softly stippled designer series paper. Um, on the glass mat, do you find that you can get a good impression? Yes. Actually, that's one of the things I really like about it, Bonnie, is that I am getting good impressions, um, particularly with the cling mount stamps. So, um, so I'm liking it a lot. Um, all right. So this is the softly stippled designer series paper or one piece of it, I should say. This is also a celebration item that will be available to order or as an option with an order of $50 or greater um, through the end of February. So make sure, again, you're putting your orders in, getting those ordered. Um, and just so you know, if you should join, demonstrators also get those celebration benefits um, on any order that they place as a demonstrator. So um, you don't get them with your starter kit, but you do get them with any order that you place. Uh, as a demonstrator. So that's a pretty awesome deal too. I like that we get all the same perks and benefits. We just get an additional discount if we join. All right. So I, I am adhering this to the front of the pool party card base. Um, this piece, if I've cut it correctly, should be five and a half by four and a quarter and should cover the entire front. Um, all the, uh, the, um, uh, Cardstock cuts is what I was trying to say. Uh, we'll be out on my blog tomorrow, so no need to worry about writing anything down or worrying about what I said. So um, uh, do you, how do you decide if you use glue or tape? Um, well, I typically use glue if it's something like that where I need to have a little wiggle room on it. Um, I use the tape. Anything else because I don't like liquid glue very well because I usually end up sticking myself to the project. So, but if you like liquid glue, then you can use whichever one, whatever works best for you. So, um, hey, Daryl, thanks for hopping in. I appreciate it. So I've got some stamp and seal here and I'm going to put a little bit of it in the center of my card. And the reason I'm sticking it here in the center is because I know that it's going to be covered with all these pretty things that I'm layering over the top of it. And I've got a piece of vellum. Hold on. <coughs> so... Got a piece of vellum that I embossed ahead of time. So this is about three and three quarters by five inches. And I embossed it with the softly sophisticated 3D embossing folder, which again is one of the items that you can get for free. Um, it's a bundle. So it's free with an order of $100 or greater during celebration. It's bundled with another stamp set. And just gonna adhere this so that it's generally centered and hopefully fairly straight. Um, the only thing is, I will say it's, it, it wasn't difficult to get it lined up straight, but it was a little challenging because the grain I discovered in this paper does not run exactly straight. So, <laughs> all right, sticking that down with a little bit of the uh, stamp and seal. Then I'm going to take another little bit of stamp and seal and stick it here in the center again. 
And then I'm gonna take this pretty Lemon Lolly ribbon, which is from the Sheer Ribbon Combo Pack, which is in the annual catalog. <coughs> and I apologize, I'm, hopefully I don't have to stop and keep coughing all day and through the entire video, but I'm still definitely getting over the creeping crud that my daughter brought home. She's fine and has been back at school for several days. Um, yeah, and then she shared it with me and I did not recover as quickly as she did. Apparently that means I'm an old lady, I don't know. <laughs> so, all right, just making kind of a wide Z basically and I'm sticking, um, I've just got a little strip of stamp and seal that I put right here in the center and I'm just sticking the ribbon right to that. Hey Karen, thanks for hopping in. And I agree that I love the you know, look of the embossed vellum and it's something that I often forget to do. And then, yeah, and then I see somebody else do it and I'm like, man, I need to, it's, cause it's really pretty, so. All right, so it looks a little lumpy now, but that's okay. We're gonna be sticking some things over the top of it so nobody's gonna notice that it's all lumpy. Um, ahead of time, I did, hold on, I gotta get a drink again. <coughs> Just when I think I'm all prepared and I'm not going to cough during this video hardly at all. And yeah, I am. All right. So this is the die that, hold on, let me grab the die set again. So it is this large die um, from the Magnolia Mood dies that um, I cut this with. So I like that it's, it kind of embosses almost, it, it does cut through, but not like huge holes in it through. So you can still use adhesive and things on the back of this. And uh, again, this is what it cut, the cut looks like. So this is the die. This is what it looks like when it's cut out. And I just cut it from basic white cardstock. And I'm gonna use a little bit, uh, or a couple of mini glue dots on the back of here to stick this to the card front. All right, so everybody getting ready for the big game. I'm sure you all are. Um, I, yeah. I will watch it here. I don't really care one way or the other. The outcome, of, I don't care very much about. <laughs> I mostly like watching the, the um, I almost call them cartoons. <coughs> the commercials are actually what we like to watch here. So, And I've seen quite a few of them ahead of time, which I don't know if I like that or don't like that, that they share so many of them ahead. Um, you know, it's kind of fun to watch them when they're, the game is actually on. So, all right. I'm just gonna take this and stick it here to the card front, kind of layer it over the top of that ribbon. And again, just stick in so that the mini glue dots are stuck a little bit to the vellum. A couple of them are stuck to the ribbon, but I wanna make sure that some are stuck down on the vellum as well. Um, like the commercials too, yep. So that, that's the fun part. <laughs> so, all right, I've got some basic white cardstock and Pebble Path ink, and I'm gonna do a little stamping. Um, so this is the large Magnolia image from the um, Magnolia Mood stamp set. And I'm gonna use Pebbled Path ink. They are almost like cartoons. Well, at least some of them are like cartoons. So <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so maybe I didn't use the wrong word after all, Rosie. All right, so I've got uh, the large image and I'm just gonna stamp it here on basic white cardstock. There we go. I don't know, I should, I have to stop for just a second. Isn't that so pretty? I don't know how, I mean, I love it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> so it almost gives it like a, I don't know, a very detailed look to the stamp, which I love. So, and then here's the little, is it the seed pod, whatever they call these. I'm also going to stamp that here on the basic white cardstock. So sets on the way and you're excited. It's a really pretty one. You're going to love it. Definitely. And then I've got the little happy birthday sentiment. And all of these came from the Magnolia, blah, blah, Magnolia Mood stamp set. Stamp that on here, and hopefully I've got enough room to fit the dies around it, but I think I do. And again, Pebbled Path is the ink that I used on that. And then I'm gonna pull out my Stampin' Blends markers. And there's really not a ton of coloring that goes into this. Um, I'm gonna start with Lemon Lolly. If you prefer the um, uh, Daffodil Delight, you could definitely use Daffodil. Lemon Lolly is just my favorite color. And I had the ribbon that matched it, so I couldn't stop myself from using Lemon Lolly, so that's why you're stuck with lemon lolly. <laughs> I, you know, I think the actual um, magnolias that I've seen probably are closer to a daffodil delight color, but I don't know. I picked this one. So there we go. Just adding in, kind of lightly scratching over it with the light lemon lolly. And then I've got the dark. <coughs> and I'm just going to come in here with the dark. And on the lower areas, you can kind of see where it's shaded already. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of dark lemon lolly. 
with my Stampin' Blends marker. All right. And again, you'll see this is very complex coloring, like I always do. <laughs> so, And same thing on this image. I'm just going to come in and put a little bit of the dark in there. And that's really all that I'm going to do. So it's super quick and easy to color that um, with the Lemon Lolly. Then I've got, I'm actually just going to use my light um, Mossy Meadow Stampin' Blends marker. And we're going to color in these leaves, which I could have probably colored one or two of these ahead of time. Maybe I should have, but eh. I'm sure you don't mind listening to me hack and cough <laughs> as, as I'm coloring here. Um, and this, I did not do any blending with the um, dark Stampin' Blends marker on here, just because the image was fairly dark already and had a lot of shading on it, so I didn't feel like I needed to go back in and add any additional with the dark Stampin' Blends marker. If that is something that you want to do and try, you certainly can. And I'm sure it would be very pretty either way, um, but I just kind of was lazy and figured that it, it really looked like it had been blended already based on what the, the stamped image looked like. So I didn't feel like I needed to spend a ton of time coloring it. So, um, hey, Karen, thanks for joining in and uh, Danette as well. So, all right, then I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and color around down here this leaf. Yeah, and we're actually having a beautiful day here in New Jersey. So um, the sun's shining, and it's fairly warm out there for a winter day. And we're supposed to be really warm this weekend. And then I'm hearing that potentially there's supposed to be snow next week. And not just a little. I've heard it's like a foot of snow. So I'm not as excited about that. But, you know, as long as it melts again quickly. Hopefully because it's been warm, it will melt quickly. But, um, yeah, so... Lots of snow is not always my favorite thing, but it is kind of nice to look out and maybe get a snow day here and there. So, all right. <coughs> I've got two more leaves and we'll be done with this part of it. And again, I apologize about the cough and I'm trying not to do too much of it and trying to turn my head away so hopefully it doesn't go straight into the mic. Um, but goodness, yes, my daughter and I have been sick and we... I took her in to be tested. I didn't bother after I found out what she had. We discovered that we have had RSV, which I knew that little, little ones got that, but I didn't realize that people like my age did. <laughs> so anyway, apparently we do. And apparently high schoolers get it as well. So not very much fun, but we're getting through it. So, all right, so that is it. That's all the coloring we're going to do. Um, these images, because the magnolias I've seen, generally the petals are white. I just left them as white because I thought it looked nice that way. So, all right, let me grab a couple of dies here. So I've got this large die from the Magnolia Mood die set that will cut this image. And then we've got this die that will cut this image. And then... From the Stylish Shapes dies, I've got my long, narrow um, banner die, and that will cut out the birthday. So I'm going to have to definitely run this through twice because I see these two dies are going to overlap if I don't, and that will be very bad um, because I've done that before, and yes, it does mangle up your dies. <laughs> so hold on one second, and I will be um, off screen doing my die cutting. on here. There are my die cut images. And got to get the birthday done. And there we go. We got that one done too. Get those out of the way. Now it's just a matter of layering everything and sticking it down to the card front. Um, the larger image I did put down with Stampin' Dimensionals, so I'm going to use some of those on the back here. And then my smaller image I stuck down with mini glue dots. <coughs> and I'm going to try to strategically place the um, 
Stampin' Dimensionals on here because I know that I'm going to be tucking a couple of die cuts up underneath um, of my focal image here. So I want to make sure I'm going to try to stay away from this area because I know I'm going to be tucking that underneath there. And yeah, that's about it. So, all right. Um, I do chop my Stampin' Dimensionals in half. If you like the whole ones better, you can definitely use those. I just prefer the half ones. So I generally tend to chop mine all in half. And then I'm gonna layer this right over the top of my other die cut. And I don't know that, again, there was any real specific placement on it. I just kind of layered it over the top. Uh, mostly just wanted, there's a, the larger, hold on, let me grab the die. Um, so this flower I thought was kind of duplicated the flower that I had um, stamped and die cut already. So I covered most of this flower, but what I wanted was the little edge pieces that stuck out. So, all right, so that's how I kind of decided what to put where. And then I've got this little piece here that I'm going to put a couple of mini glue dots on the back of it. <clears throat> and I'm going to take that and tuck it right up underneath here. There we go. <coughs> and then I die cut ahead of time a couple, the little leaf set, which again is from the Magnolia Mood dies, and that is this little die cut here. So I just ran it through basic white cardstock. And I'm gonna grab a couple of little glue dots and put them underneath the leaves here as well before I stick that down. And I'm just gonna tuck that underneath my die cut. Yeah, I think we can kind of just tuck it in here like, I was trying to decide if I wanted the other leaf to show. I think I don't really need it. So I'm gonna tuck that one in there like that. And then I've got my happy birthday sentiment and I'm gonna, I know that I'm gonna layer that over the top of my magnolia a little bit. So on this side, I'm gonna put a glue dot and on this side, I'm gonna put some Stampin' Dimensionals um, because that'll be kind of hanging out out on this side by itself. Um, with nothing layered over the top of it. So I'm gonna take my little glue dot and stick that underneath here. And then I can always tuck in another glue dot or another stamp of dimensional if I feel like it needs it to kind of help it not, I don't know, lay strangely on the card, but I think, I think this is gonna do it because I think, yep, the stamp of dimensional, I think I caught the card front, which is what I wanted to do, make sure it wasn't just stuck to the ribbon. And then this side is secured with a little glue dot over here on it. And the last thing I put on the card front is a couple of the iridescent pearl basic jewels. And I did use um, some, it's a mix of the big and the small ones. So I've got three of them on there and you probably didn't even notice them because they kind of blend in, but they add just a little bit of something pretty to it. A little, a little extra sparkly stuff. The ribbon definitely has a little sparkle to it as well, but um, these I thought just added a nice little touch. Uh, I think we'll tuck that one right in there. And that's it for the card front. So super simple. Um, yeah, like I said, this is the one I did ahead and this is the one we did today. Um, so yeah, all right. Inside of the card, kept pretty simple as well. I've got a piece of basic white card stock and I'm gonna grab a little piece of scrap paper here before I start my stamping because I don't wanna end up with it all over my glass mat. Not that I can't wipe it off, but you know, sometimes I just make a mess. So I'm gonna take my large uh, Magnolia image again, ink it up with the uh, Pebbled Path ink. So. And I'm gonna take that and stamp it here on the lower left corner. And then just gonna do the same thing and stamp it again on the upper right, flipping it upside down. All right, there we go. And I'll get this out of here so you can see what it actually looks like. So that's what, uh, stuff everywhere here. Um, so that's what it's gonna look like on the inside of the card. And again, this is basic white cardstock, cut to about four by five and a quarter. Um, if you wanted to, you can certainly color this, uh, the little leaves and the centers of the flowers, um, but I didn't really think it needed it because there wasn't really a lot of those showing. So I thought it looked all right just to leave it as it was. All right, stick that on the inside of the card. So that's it. And then I'm gonna fold it closed and do a quick crease with the bone folder. And that's gonna be it for the card. So super quick and easy. And like I said, I think the beautiful image kind of does 
all of the work itself. I don't think you'd even have to color it if you didn't want it to. I think you could stamp it just in whatever color ink you want to all over a piece of basic white cardstock and you'd be good to go with it because it's beautiful. <laughs> so at least in my opinion, I love this stamp set. You know that you're gonna see me using it a lot. So again, this is from the online exclusives that will be available uh, to order beginning on March 5th. Um, they're actually available right now for demonstrators to pre-order. And if you join, you can actually add this to your starter kit. So yay for that. Um, or if you want to add other items, you can always do that and then place a demonstrator order after the fact and get these on pre-order. So there you go. Let me know if you have questions about anything. I will be posting all the details for this card on my blog tomorrow, which is stampwithamyk.com. I will link up to it. Um, around 8 o'clock in the morning when the blog post goes live, I'll link to it in, in the uh, description of this video so you'll be able to go find the PDF tutorial, uh, find all the cardstock cuts and lots of other pictures and all the details about it. So let me know if you have questions about anything. I appreciate you all being here and listening to me hack and cough, and I apologize. Hopefully by next week, Tuesday, I will be feeling much better and no more hacking and coughing. <laughs> so, But I'll plan to be live around 2 o'clock Eastern time next week, Tuesday, and again next week, Friday, around 2 o'clock Eastern time. Have a wonderful rest rest of your weekend. Uh, for those watching the game, enjoy the game. And um, yeah, let me know what you're eating for food because I don't know. We haven't really planned it out here yet. <laughs> so all right. Um, have a good weekend. We'll chat with you all soon.